creating tables and fields. In the last lesson, you created an Entity Relationship Diagram, or an ERD, representing your clinic's needs. Now you'll use that ERD to start building your custom app in FileMaker Pro, creating the tables and fields that are going to house your data. Begin by creating a new file for your app. If you haven't launched FileMaker Pro, do that now. To create a new file, click File and choose New Solution. Name your new app Service Tracker. Then choose a place to store the file. Now click Save. The first window you should see is the Manage Database window. If you don't, go to File, Manage, Database. This is where you'll create tables and fields, and later, the relationships your app needs. Switch to the Tables tab. FileMaker Pro creates a table using your file name by default. Your first task is to change its name to match the first table in your ERD. Replace Service Tracker with Client in the Table Name field. Then click Change. Now create the other two tables from your ERD. In the table name, type Visit, then click Create. You'll see the table appear in the list. Type Service and then click Create. You now have all three tables created. Next, you'll create fields for your three tables. Select the Fields tab. Begin by selecting Client from the table drop-down list. This is where you'll add the fields related to the client table. You'll need to create a name and select a type for each field. As a best practice, the first field you should create for each table is the primary key field. This will be the unique identifier for each client record. Type Client ID in the field name box. In the type list, choose Number and then click Create. Now you'll set additional options for the primary key. Click Options. Choose the Serial Number option. This will create a unique number for each record in the client table. But you can change this to start at any number. You'll be importing some data in the next video, and the primary keys go up to about 90. To avoid overlapping those numbers, set Next Value to 100. That way, any records you create later will have primary keys that are higher than the ones from the import. Turn on Prohibit Modification of Value During Data Entry. This locks the data in the field so that it can't be changed by users. Click OK. Now create the other fields you need in the client table. Type First Name, then choose Text from the Type Options. Click Create. Repeat these steps to create four more text fields. Last name, city, phone, and email. Next, you'll create a field that can store an image. In the field name, type photo and choose container as the field type. Then click create. A container field is a special field type that can hold files like images, documents, audio, and video. Now choose Visit from the Table drop-down to create the fields for your Visit table. Start by creating the Visit table's primary key field, called Visit ID. Set the field as a number, and then click Create. Since this is a primary key, click Options. Enable the checkbox for Serial Number, and set the next value as 300. Turn on Prohibit Modification of its value. Click OK. Since the visit table needs to relate to the client table, create a foreign key called client ID. Make the field a number. Click create. The foreign key will allow each visit record to tie to its related client record. Create the visit date field and set it as a date. Click create, followed by options. Since a new visit record is usually created on the same day as the actual visit, you can set the visit date to default to today's date. Turn on Creation and click OK. Repeat the field creation process to create the following four fields. Visit Time as a time field. Therapist as a text field. Signature as a container field. And Note as a text field. For our last table, select Service from the table drop-down. Start by creating the service table's primary key field, called Service ID. 
Set the field as a number and then set its options to serial number. Set the next value to 500. Turn on prohibit modification of its value. Since the service table needs to relate to the visit table, create a foreign key called visit ID. Make the field a number. Now create these remaining two fields. Service name as a text field and duration as a number field. Click OK to close the Manage Database window. With your ERD as a blueprint, you've now successfully created multiple tables and fields for your app. In the next video, you'll import your existing data from spreadsheets into your newly created tables.